Hello, everybody. If you are looking at this video, then you must have at least some interest in the health systems pathway. And if so, I am looking forward to talking with you at some point. Uh, my name is Anders Chen. I'm the curriculum and pathway director for all of the health systems curriculum for the UW Internal Medicine Residency Program. And uh, first thing I just wanted to say is please reach out to me anytime. My email address is listed here if uh, you have questions or if you'd like to chat further. There's also this link below to some more information on the website. Um, I wanted to tell you a little bit about the structure and the concept behind the uh, curriculum and pathway first, and then we'll get into some of the details of what the pathway might look like if you were to join. Um, so we have a, an entire health systems curriculum. Uh, conceptually, <clears throat> we have the core curriculum that all of the residents in the program participate in, electives if you're interested in diving a little bit deeper, pathway if you uh, think you want part of your career to include health systems work. And then there's also the option for independent work. So if, for example, you know exactly what you want in your career, you have a prior career in health policy or something else, and you just want the time to pursue this, um, and you have a mentor, et cetera, then you can uh, apply for independent blocks and don't have to be part of the pathway. So all sorts of levels of options. Um, so what does health systems even mean? It's a broad and fairly vague term, I acknowledge. And um, the best way that we can sort of describe this in terms of people's interests, because it is such a broad field, um, is to think about it from uh, sort of which domain in health systems strengthening that you might be interested in. Uh, this is from a paper uh, discussing health systems careers from a handful of years ago. Um, but in general, we can think about it in, in research, um, administration and management, and policy. Research is a little bit more straightforward. Um, folks who do health services research careers, health economics research careers, um, there is that at angle uh, for which you, again, can pursue things outside the pathway if you know this is what you want. There's a whole career trajectory, <clears throat> excuse me, you can pursue in a health services um, or GIM type fellowship. Um, for folks who either know they're more interested in the QI administration management circle on the upper right or in the policy circle, um, the pathway may be useful because there's less linear career trajectories into these uh, after residency. And then if you don't know quite which aspect of this or you have over overlapping interests, then again, the pathway may be helpful for you uh, depending on what you're looking for. And as the overlapping Venn diagrams show, uh, none of this is clear cut and uh, linear. Um, and that's part of the excitement of this uh, and part of the challenge uh, in terms of defining uh, uh, unique career paths. So we had originally conceptualized the pathway to look like this, where the foundation in our two year is structured around the medical center level quality and safety work, clinical microsystem QI, um, and subsequent time in your R3 year um, is focused on hospital and medical center leadership and administration, as well as the broader health policy sphere. And this is still an option that is available to folks, especially if you don't know quite which aspect you're interested in, this can give you exposure to, to many of, of, uh, of the different uh, angles. Um, <clears throat> however, we of course want this to be useful and tailored to people and their specific interests. And uh, over the five years that we've been doing this pathway, we've also built out uh, arcs, uh, for lack of a better term, uh, for folks potentially who know sort of one of these spheres that they may be more interested in. And um, we've had folks more interested in the quality and safety and leadership side at the medical center. We've had some folks specifically interested in uh, financing and payment models in healthcare reform. And we've had folks interested in health policy at various levels. And then, of course, um, uh, other folks who are interested in carving their own path and, and have custom built uh, a trajectory. So uh, perhaps not as elegant as the concentric circles, but this is where we have been moving to help uh, folks tailor towards their specific interests. 
So you might ask, what does this all actually mean and what does it look like in person? Um, so the pathway, uh, it starts your R2 year, so you would apply partway through your intern year, and then uh, intern year is really focused on just finding your feet as a physician. <clears throat> Starting R2 year, you do an immersion block um, that's really focused on project work um, and that you have extra time to carry out through the rest of the year. And again, this is sort of focused in one of three spheres traditionally. Um, we have usually partnered with Harborview Medical Center and their um, performance improvement team and conducted high level multidisciplinary project work uh, along with their uh, executive leadership team. And uh, this is focused on a few things. Uh, for example, um, a couple of the different years as projects has looked at in improving the inpatient sepsis screening program using the EMR. Um, implementing the hypertension pathway in the outpatient primary care clinics and streamlining uh, diabetic foot infection care for patients hospitalized with these uh, with this condition. Uh, and then this past year, we focused on uh, disparities in uh, colon cancer screening uh, in a variety of different ways. Um, so. Harborview and VA uh, in recent years as well, clinical microsystem work um, is one example. Um, we've also had residents either in their R2 or R3 year uh, work with UW's value and system science lab on the bottom left. Um, those are folks who have identified interests in payment models, in healthcare reform, um, and uh, have conducted research or written policy uh, briefs and perspectives, looking at a variety of different value-based models, um, ranging from uh, Medicare's quality payment program, uh, Medicare's shared savings program, um, to a handful of others. And then the upper right, the Washington State Healthcare Authority, this is the state agency that uh, purchases and administers Medicaid, as well as health insurance for state employees and teachers. So it's the largest purchaser of healthcare in the state and a big driver of health policy. And we've had residents with policy interests work with healthcare authority colleagues um, in, uh, on topics including uh, implementation of the state's public option, as well as uh, details within uh, determining Medicaid coverage policy. Um, professional and de development is also a big part of a pathway. Uh, as I mentioned, there's the immersion block in your R2 year to start and really um, get up to speed with the project work. Also time within that block um, to focus on professional development, set meetings, explore different careers and health systems. Um, and uh, in the R3 year, even more time um, uh, to use uh, depending on what your interests are. Um, we've had residents build leadership blocks, both to see what our medical center leadership inpatient and outpatient does, uh, to work with the state healthcare authority, to understand their role a little bit better, et cetera, and to really help you define what trajectory or at least explore what trajectory you might be interested in. And then lastly, uh, I often get asked, what do residents, what do pathway residents do after they complete residency? We're in the fifth year of the pathway, uh, which means uh, we've had three graduated cohorts um, and two still in residency. And this is an example of uh, a list of examples of what uh, some of the residents have done uh, out of residency, including a couple of pursuing chief resident positions for quality and safety, um, one working uh, within healthcare administration as a hospitalist, um, one working uh, with the healthcare authority uh, with a part time in a policy role. Um, others have considered GIM fellowships. Um, and then we've got a couple who are doing uh, additional clinical training. Currently, our cohort of residents, um, uh, similar interests, again, a few considering research careers and GIM fellowships. Um, a couple of uh, them are doing rotations with our state healthcare authority, um, a couple of interested uh, in rural hospital administration and leadership. And a, a strong equity lens has always been, um, has been part of the residents in our program as well as in our pathway. So I will leave it at that. Um, again, please feel free to reach out to me with any questions. Um, and I look forward to speaking with you in the future.